You know, the way Erica Kane arrived on daytime TV in a 1970 season, uh, it's a, a wide story, a wild story. And uh, if the people that were uh, part of it weren't still living, it wouldn't be believed at all. This led into probably the first full-time bitch goddess on daytime TV, and that's what she was, Erica Kane, played by the incomparable Susan Lucci. Now, this is a fictional character from the ABC Daytime Soap on My Children, which debuted <coughs> on January 16th, 1970. Now, it was, Erica was portrayed by actress Susan Lucci from her debut on January 16, 1970, until the last broadcast television episode on September 23rd, 2011. Lucci was expected to guest star in Prospect Park's continuation of All My Children in 2013, but the appearance never came to fruition due to the show's second cancellation. Erica is considered to be the most popular character in American soap opera history. TV Guide calls her unequivocally the most famous soap opera character in the history of daytime TV. Yes, in North America, not in Europe and uh, different countries. And included her in their 2013 lists of the 60th nastiest villains of all time. Now, Angus Nixon created Erica Kane in the 1960s as part of the story Bible for AMC, a lighthearted soap opera focusing on social issues and young love. Nixon unsuccessfully attempted to sell the series to NBC, then to CBS, and once again to NBC through Procter & Gamble. With Procter & Gamble unable to make room for the new series in the lineup, she put her AMC on hold. Nixon eventually became head writer of Another World, where she used the model of, of the Erica character to create a brand new character, the famous Rachel Davis. And uh, Rachel was a key player on Another World all, uh, from that time on. Nixon said Rachel was Erica's precursor to the public. She detailed, she detailed Rachel's goals as less stratospheric in nature, since her primary motivation involved marrying Dr. Russ Matthews or a man with money, while Erica wanted love, independence, and fame. What Erica and Rachel have in common is they thought if they could get their dream, they'd be satisfied, Nixon said. But that dream has been elusive. Now, after the success of One Life to Live, a series Nixon created in 68, ABC asked her to create another soap opera for them. Again, she used the story Bible for AMC to create a new program. The Anagarica character officially debuted in 1970 once All My Children made it to the air. Now, at the time, soap operas fe featured mostly older casts. To add a contemporary feel to the show, Nixon focused on younger characters while also uh, mixing in older ones so not to lose traditional viewers. The youths on AMC were Tara Martin, played by the great Karen Lynn Gomi of Saturday Night Live fame, Philip Brent, the great Richard Hatch, Chuck Tyler, played by Jack Stauffer, and of course, Susan Lucci as Erica Kane. For the lowest parts, the show wanted to cast unknown actors. In 69, Lucci responded to a casting call for AMC. She initially auditioned for the role of Tara Martin. The character that we were all interested in was not Erica, but Tara, said Torres Quin Quinlan, the show's former executive producer. She was the sweet young ingenue, the one with all the problems that everyone was supposed to care about. I certainly couldn't cast Lucci as a young, innocent, sweet little Irish girl. That's not what comes out. She's much more sophisticated. At least she gives that appearance. She was perfect to play Erica. Now, after a meeting with the casting director, they promised to call her back in six months. One of hundreds of people they called back in, Lucci progressed on from each rating of the part that she received a role. I saw the audition tapes and she stood out, said Nixon. There was never a question in my mind, ever. And I tend to agree. Now, before being cast as Erica Kane, Lucy did not have had much success in her acting career. The casting director discouraged her from pursuing roles on TV because her hair, skin, and eyes were too dark. Though Lucy's olive complexion held her back from acting other acting opportunities, it worked her worked in her favor while up for role Erica. Nixon, the show's creator, really wanted somebody dark to play this part. She has always been ahead of her time, Lucy said. Lucci debuted in season 10 of the series, and when she won her first Emmy after more than a dozen losses, she basically said, I was only expected to be on every other Tuesday. Now, in portraying Erica, the doctor drew on a self-centered and haughty trade she recognized in herself while in college. Lucy said, Lucci said, I love playing her. I enjoy playing her, which was a 15-year-old high school girl, the naughty girl in town, and I enjoy playing her now. When she's still the naughty girl, but she's brought in her area of operation to include the entire world. No one can, can deny the success of Erica Kane because, like Wayne Gretzky for hockey, just like Mickey Mantle for baseball, just like Michael Jordan for basketball, if you're not doing nothing but soaps, she is the architect, architect 
of the soap opera, either good girl or bad girl. Reva Shane later on, Rachel, uh, you know, uh, all the the, all the uh, General Hospital uh, evil divas. But Susan Lucci was Erica Kane, and she's always been typecast, but she's been typecast all the way to the bank. Thanks for listening. Bye.